Hi guys and welcome to The Batch Lady and thanks for watching today I am showing you how to glaze and cook a ham. So on The Batch Lady channel I show you how to make fast, simple homemade meals that you can make in advance, freeze and use for you later. And this piece of ham is no exception. So I'm going to show you how to make it for a Sunday lunch, it's going to be delicious a good glaze to put on and an easy glaze. A lot of people think ham is hard to do, it's not. It's as simple as anything and on the Batch Lady channel you know that we keep it as simple as possible. You'll also have lots left over you that you'll be able to freeze for later. So, okay, we are going to take it out as packaging that it comes in, okay? Some of them you need to boil and you're supposed to boil the salt and all, everything off them. These ones don't tell you to do this, this is just a normal, it's called a gammon joint. Um, and I got it just out of the supermarket. Um, you can get amazing ones out your butchers um, and sometimes I'll get a huge big one depending on, like a huge, huge one, depending if it's sort of a new year or something like that. But I'm not having as many people over, so I'm just going to stick to this one. So, when you um, take it out the wrapping, you're going to cut the netting off of it, okay? And it actually tells you on it, so this is 2.1 kilos, it cost me £10.51, that is going to go a long way though. Um, I have 24 people coming today um, and I have this ham and a smaller one and that should feed absolutely everybody um, with leftovers. Um, price per kilo was £5, cooking time it cooks in 2 hours and 45 minutes, okay? So, you can just, if you wanted a plain ham, just like if you've watched my um, ham for midweek meals, then you're just going to put it in your tray, cover it in foil and add some water, a tiny bit of water to stop it sticking. But, if you want a fancier ham, what you're going to do is on, I don't know, if, can you see that? There's a big piece of fat over that ham, okay? And you're going to cut into it with a sharp knife, not all the way through to the meat, you're just scoring it, and you're scoring it diagonally across, okay? Diagonally across and not all the way through. Turn it round, and you're going to score it in the opposite direction, and you will end up with little squares on the top of your um, ham. Now, uh, this is a cheaper piece of ham. I don't have the, um, the fat all the way across it, so I'm just going to do the first bit of it. So you end up with these little squares that you can sort of put your fingers around, okay? And they're going to come in very handy for your cloves. Because what you're going to do next is you're going to get some dry cloves, um, whole cloves, okay? And you're going to get some out. And this is the bit of the tedious bit where you start sticking them in wherever there's a little hole in the diagonal. I'm going to bring that over and let you see. Sometimes the camera goes out of shot. Do you see what I mean? You're going to stick them in there and that's just going to give a lovely, lovely sort of spiced flavour. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm just going to talk to you about what you can serve it with. So today I am serving this with, um, I'm doing this for Easter Sunday and I'm serving it with um, a whole roasted cauliflower that's got some cumin and various things. I'll get the recipe up as um, soon as I can. Um, I have done my spiced cabbage, which is still online, although I used it for Christmas. It's perfect for um, a roast on a special occasion, a roast um, gammon or ham. So um, I'm doing spiced cabbage. I've got dolphin wah potatoes. They're great. I made them days ago. So um, actually, I made them a few weeks ago. So I don't need to bother about that. They're in the freezer. And I'm serving it with a recipe that's coming up this week as well, which is my um, bread and butter pudding made with hot cross buns and such an Easter thing and a really nice treat. It's already done, it's in the freezer. So I've just got them all out of the freezer and all I need to do is do the ham. Everything else is done for today. When I'm going to cook some green beans, that's it. So my cloves are on, then I'm actually just going to put it into the dish that I'm going to use. Let me just move that out of the way so I don't need any of that. And I'm going to cover it basically with lashings of honey and that's what's going to give it a really good glaze. You don't need to salt and pepper this, ham has tons of salt already on it. Now I just bought a cheaper sort of runny honey for this, um, runny honey is probably the best. You don't actually have to rub it in that much, it pretty much covers it. I just want to cover the ends a bit. Now that is going to go in the oven, I'm going to cover it in my foil, remember and cover it in your foil 
Now you can add a tiny splash of water out of your kettle, which I've only got a tiny splash of water in my kettle, but I just like to do enough that it's not going to stick to the tray until the juices start to come out. I'm going to cover this up and that's going to go in the oven now for um, two hours and 45 minutes. When it comes out, it'll be ready to carve and everything else I'll have ready to go and I'll try to get a picture or something at the end if I can. You might see it on my thumbnail. Um, that is baked ham. That's how easy it is. I'm cooking for 23 people today, uh, 24, 25, lots of little ones, and I'm feeling very relaxed because everything is done in advance. Give it a go. Um, I hope you love this. Please subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, um, Pinterest. Thanks for watching. Bye.